Show of hands, how many of you have seen this pretty watercolor test before? What if I told you it's a lot more complicated than what it seems? Find out what's what about alkaline water on this episode of H2 Minutes. Welcome to our first episode of our Misconception series. There's so many misconceptions about alkaline water that it's hard to know which way is up. Instead of breaking down the misconception, I'm gonna go through the facts so that you can use those facts to decide between fact or fiction. I'll even slide in some examples of the myths along the way. Alkaline water is water with a high pH, but what is pH? pH is a logarithmic function measuring the potential of hydrogen ions in a solution. Let's bring back my friend H plus that we learned about in the what is hydrogen episode. Now the pH scale goes from 1 to 14. Now 7 is neutral. Anything that's below 7 is acidic. Anything that is above 7 is alkaline. But you knew that, didn't you? So because pH is the potential of hydrogen ions, the more hydrogen ions in a solution, the more acidic it'll be. The less hydrogen ions in a solution, the more alkaline it'll be. For example, if I had a glass of acidic water, orange juice, lemon juice, etc., there would be a higher concentration of hydrogen ions. If I have a glass of alkaline water or bleach, ammonia, etc., then there will be a lower concentration of hydrogen ions. So does this mean there are free hydrogen ions floating around in the glass? Uh, no. Strictly speaking of acidic water, the extra hydrogen ions are in the form of hydronium, H3O+. The lack of hydrogen ions in alkaline water results in a higher concentration of hydroxide, OH-. This is what those pH drops are measuring in the pretty watercolor demos. Confused yet? Stay tuned because in our next episode, we'll break down key terms that get confused in regard to alkaline water. If you like what you see, please subscribe and like us on Facebook. So that's your dose of H2, two minutes.